It's game time. Oh, I've already had a taste of Tomodachi Life, the move-in version demo for the 3DS, but now I've taken some time to enjoy the full version of Tomodachi Life with all of its weird quirks and and Japanesey weirdness. Japanesey. It's Japan easy. Japanesey. Look it up. Mm, so what do I think? of the real game. First, a quick overview of the gameplay, if you can even call it that. Step one, choose your me lookalike to move into his own apartment, which I've already done in the move-in version demo, which does transfer into the full version of the game. But one me is not enough. You have to add more so they can interact and kiss on each other, give each other mouth hugs. Luckily, I did transfer over a female from my original game. However, those of you who watched that original video, which is in the internet space now. I did not, uh, I didn't bring over B-Hole. Buttmouth was his full name. He didn't make it because, well, his name was B-Hole and we can't well have that. We just can't very well have that. So he's gone. I have, however, made a me of a real person I know in life, Noptop. I'm Dave Knob. My nickname is Noptop. Right, you all know Noptop. You know, he makes videos on the internet as well. Shameless plug. And for those of you who can't be bothered to make me's of your friends, or you don't have any friends, you're lonely, you can go to Nintendo's website and scan QR codes of celebrities. Awesome. Thanks, Nintendo. I will not be scanning any of them because they suck. No offense to Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq Fu! So what I did, I went on the internet, I scoured it, and I found my own celebrity, me, Jackie Chan. Yes, living out my dream of befriending Jackie Chan, which will never happen in real life, but according to Tomodachi Life's compatibility tester, we're gonna be best buds. Just look at that. Oh. Oh, we're best buds, look at it. Now the main goal of Tomodachi Life, oh that's right, there isn't one. Now a lot of gamers out there have compared Tomodachi Life to Animal Crossing, which it's not. In Animal Crossing you control yourself, you move around and you do different things with your character. It's like it's you in the game. Tomodachi Life on the other hand is more like an ant farm for your Miis. You can watch them as they interact with each other based on their custom personalities that you create, but you're just sort of God reigning over the little Miis in their apartments. You do have some control over how the Miis interact with each other because they'll ask you for advice or they may want certain items that you can decide what you give them. But overall, you're not really controlling them directly. But you can have up to 100 Miis move into the apartments, which is, uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive. But your job here as the Mii landlord, overlord, whatever you call it, is to help solve the me problems. And they are needy little turds. At any moment, they can ask you to play weird mini games. <laughs> Keep that it. They'll annoy you until you feed them. I'm hungry. They'll need help making new friends. And yes, they'll even ask you to buy them new clothes. I'd like some new clothes. Something light would be nice. Oh. Okay, Game Dave, you want some new outfits? You want something nice and light? Yeah, I got you covered. How's that for a new outfit, Game Dave? Wait, what? Oh! He, uh, he loves it. That's not good for me. That's not good. Now each day, the various locations on the island that start to appear will have new items for sale, and they'll also have new events going on that you can participate in. Concentrate your magic energy, and move your hands toward the top screen to send it. Feel the magic? Do you feel the magic? In my fingertip tips? It's so amazing. Excellent. 
Now your island does offer all the important amenities like a food mart, clothing shop, a place to buy new interiors for your home, a hat shop, because, you know, that's not clothing, so they have to have a separate shop for hats. And over time, you will build up a collection of all of these items that you can track by going to the town hall area, where you can see all that information. So for you Animal Crossing fans, you OCD gamers are going to love trying to collect every single item in the game. There's a lot of them. Other players are going to focus on... Relationships. Now as Mies become friends, that relationship may blossom into that ugly thing known as love. They could become sweethearts and start dating and eventually get married. Mm -hmm. Now many of the Mies in my apartment complex suck at relationships, so wallow in your sadness. If you want somebody who's going to have all the relationships, why don't you put Game Dave into your apartment <coughs> complex? That's right. Scan the Game Dave QR code. Let him join your party. Your party? Now, marriage in Tomonachi life is a very interesting thing. First off, one of the sweethearts is going to want to propose, and you have to go through and help them with the proposal process to make sure they get married. Now, the me's in my apartment complex are very untraditional. That's why the girl is asking my buddy Ray for his hand in marriage. Luckily, after some trying, the marriage is a success. Now those me's fortunate enough to get married will move in to houses together. How fun is that? And there's a chance that they may want to have a baby using all the typical ingredients like uh, rainbows and a yellow five. And how fun the babies can inherit the personalities of the parents and even their looks. Which for this baby did not work out because that's one ugly baby. Get that baby off my game system. This baby so ugly, in fact, that the parents keep trying to get rid of it by asking me to stop its crying. Perfect, yes. So now I have to rock the baby to calm it down, I guess. This is not easy. This is not easy. Come on, baby. Stop crying, baby. Stupid baby, just stop crying. Stop it. Excuse me, Game Dave's local. Please don't rock Kayla quite so hard. She might get hurt. Apparently, don't shake the babies. Don't shake the babies. Alright, nice gentle rhythm for the baby. Gentle rhythm. Find the rhythm, baby. Rhythm is a dancer, baby, and if you understand that, you'll stop crying. Oh, sweet lord! Success. The baby is happy. Not worth it. Not, not worth it. Well, and that's Tomodachi Life. Pretty straightforward, right? No! This game is anything but straightforward and normal. The main draw for Tomodachi Life is the epic amount of weird. Whether you're picking things off of your me characters or even watching their dreams, discovering all that weirdness is a big chunk of the experience. But here's my verdict on that. It gets a bit old. Unless you're set on collecting every single item in the game, there's not a lot to keep the gameplay fresh. You'll know it's getting repetitive when you start seeing the same events over and over again, the same dreams, the same interactions, the same dialogue. To me, Tomodachi Life felt a little bit more like a chore than Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, I could kind of check it and do everything in one sitting. Whereas Tomodachi Life, there's several times during the day that you can check it and do different activities. And honestly, when you leave the game for a couple of days and come back, not much has changed on the island. See, they don't care about you. They don't even need you. So the real fun of Tomonachi Life is uncovering all that weirdness and finding the different events that can happen in the game. And once you've done all that, what else is there? If those quirky relationships and odd events that can happen on the island are enough to keep your interest, then this is the game for you. But if you want a deeper, more rewarding experience, you might want to look elsewhere. Now, before I go, my Game Dave Me lookalike has written a special song just for you. So let's go to the concert hall, shall we? I'm Game Day, I'm here to stay. Playing games every night and day. Press start to play the game. I hope it's not lame. Get digitally distracted with me. We could play action games 
and even role playing games. Maybe, maybe you will subscribe. Come play with me, our game is free. Let's get to Jiggly. Distracted.